I now want to talk about creating the page designs for your website. And I get asked quite often, what do you use to create the original designs? And it really doesn't matter is the answer. You can use whatever you are comfortable in and whatever can do the job for you. Since I'm an Adobe certified instructor, I often use the Adobe products, but that doesn't mean you have to. Any graphics editor that you have available to you is just fine as long as you can create the look you want for the page using that program. I want to show you a couple of different examples of working with page designs and a couple of programs just to make you aware of a couple of different features within those programs. So I have Wanderlust Travel this website that we're going to be working in throughout the course, and I have it open in Photoshop. <clears throat> you can see the page is all laid out. It has the drop shadows, it has the images, everything's all set up. And that's because I usually tend to find you can't move forward with creating a website until everybody's agreed upon a design. So that's why quite often the design, you're stuck in that graphics editing piece for quite a while. But this is using Photoshop. So you can see it's open. It's the overall page design. I get it all set up. The design is approved. And this is specifically for the home page. Normally, that's where you start. But um, it's all approved. And then you start to move forward. Now, the tricky part is how do you get this page into HTML and CSS? And I'm afraid that's another course. We're just going to cover Dreamweaver and working in the program and creating the HTML. That converting from the graphic design into the HTML and CSS is a whole different course. But that's our design as we look at it in Photoshop. Now, if I remove Photoshop, what I'm in is Fireworks. And Fireworks is another Adobe product. Over the years, it has not gotten much attention, but Fireworks can provide you a few different details that Photoshop can't. And one of those is an interesting piece. So you're looking at this in Fireworks. And the idea behind this page is we have under the fold and over the fold or above the fold. What you're looking at now is kind of the top piece of the web page. And then we have the lower section, depending upon the user's size of their screen. They may see the whole thing, or they may see just the top portion. But what's interesting about Fireworks is Fireworks has a panel called the Pages panel. And what I can do within that panel is create different pages for my website, even a master page, and create other pages from it just based on the layers within my design. So if I click on the mobile version, or the mobile page within the program, I have mapped out the whole mobile look to my website. I also can click on the inner pages, take a look at how the inner pages are going to be designed, because our home page is going to be a little bit different from those other pages. So it is a little bit different type of concept in terms of a program. And if I go ahead and make this a little bit smaller, you can get a little better overview of what this is going to look like. So there's my inner pages. Here's my mobile pages. And then I have my home page. So you also have to consider whether or not all of your other pages are going to look like your home page. You have to plan out, am I going to create separate mobile pages or not? and then plan designs for all of that as well. But that's just an overview of a couple of the programs that, since they're Adobe products, I tend to use. You can also create it in anything. And what we're looking at is just a JPEG version or another image format version. So it's not in any major graphics design. So in other words, this was created in whatever. It's made into a JPEG, and we can take a look at it that way, either through on Windows, the photo viewer, because I happen to be on Windows, or whatever viewer you have that can open a JPEG file on your system.
or you can even put it directly into the browser and view that page design in the browser. So ultimately, all you need is the look of the page and whatever you want to use to create that page, feel free. As I said, I'm Adobe Associated, so I happen to have those products and I'm familiar with them, but don't feel like you have to learn Photoshop just to plan out the basic design of a web page. Use whatever you're comfortable in. So those are some ideas for how to create the initial design for your web pages because you have to plan all that out before you can ever get to Dreamweaver. So just some thoughts on the various programs that are available to you or use your own for planning your page designs.